Hi everyone, Abby here. And welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Lululemon Sling Crossbody Bag. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this in the color Lark Spur and it currently goes for $48, guys. Starting at the front here, we do have a Lululemon written logo right here. In addition to that, we do have this little logo right here, kind of like a fabric logo. So this is the front of the bag here. I'm just gonna show you all around. So we have a pocket right here underneath the logo. Drop-in pocket. And at the back here, there's another drop-in pocket. And then at the top, we have a zippered pocket. So here's the inside of that area, guys. And then we also have this little thing <laughs> inside there. So inside the pocket here, guys, there is a solid area right here. And then we also have these like mesh pockets right here. So there's two. And then we have Lululemon written right here. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on me. And I am wearing this as a crossbody, as it's intended to be worn. Um, I've tried, but you can't wear this as a belt bag, guys. <laughs> it's just not possible with this kind of uh, construction here. And I do have this strap kind of tightened a bit, as you could see from this piece here. And you can go ahead and tighten it even more if you wanted to. You just kind of pull down on this strap and it will tighten. So you can tighten it like this, have it kind of across your chest under your bust. But one thing I want to point out is that when you do that, it kind of sticks out awkwardly. So I don't like wearing it like this personally. And then if you wanted to, you can go ahead and kind of wear it the loosest way possible. And this is where it goes on me, guys. Like it goes real low, <laughs> like way down here. And I am five foot eight, guys. All right, guys, so I hope you did find it helpful seeing me try this on today. And now I'm gonna get into the major highlights about this bag. So it's made for on the go, but I think it's also great for shopping, for travel and for walks has a long adjustable strap, guys, and I have the max and minimum lengths that the strap can go on screen for you guys. It has interior and exterior pockets. It's made of a water repellent fabric. It has a key loop on the inside to kind of attach your keys to if you'd like to. It's that little kind of string thing that I showed you guys. The dimensions of this bag are 10.2 inches by 3 inches by 5.5 inches, and this is a 2 liter bag. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what this bag can hold, you know, what I would typically put inside of my bag. So, there's a little drop-in pocket at the back here. And there, I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone just for easy access. So there it is in there. And then in this internal space right here, I'm gonna put in a pair of gloves. I'm also gonna put in my mini wallet here. On the inside here, there's two mesh pockets. On one of them, I'm gonna put in hand sanitizer and a chapstick. And on the other, I'm gonna put in some hand lotion. So here's everything I have on the inside. And then for this little flap at the front, I'm gonna go ahead and put in pen and a highlighter, just in case I would need one on the go. And now I'm gonna zip it shut. All right guys, so this is what it looks like full. This bag can definitely hold all of your essentials and a bit more, and that's something I really like. This two liter capacity could actually hold a lot. And if you guys wanted to, if you didn't want to put in like some other stuff in the interior pocket there, it can fit a full 500 milliliter, you know, traditional water bottle in here. All right guys, so here's the tag for anybody interested in this information here. All right guys, so now getting into the cons about this bag. So the first con I found is this little hanging strap. So when you tighten up the bag, which a lot of you probably will, we have this little hanging piece here, a little side tail, and I hate it, it's super annoying. As you're walking, it kind of just like hits your leg constantly, and it also looks a little weird. And there's nothing you could really do to like hide it. Lululemon hasn't really attached like any, you know, kind of sliding clasp or anything to keep it in check. It kind of just hangs there. Um, the one thing I found is that I can tuck this a little bit into this back pocket right here. But even doing so, it sticks out a little bit and it looks weird. And I find that as I'm walking throughout the day, it will come out. They should have done something better than having this just hang in here. 
Another con I found is that this bag does attract pet hair and lint quite easily. So you're gonna have to constantly kind of like wipe it down um, to make sure that it looks good. And I did wipe this down and just from my walk kind of upstairs to downstairs, guys, there is cat hair on here. <laughs> um, I found a piece. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right here. So I find that super annoying. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna do a bit of a comparison. So here I have the sling crossbody bag. And here I have the Lululemon, the rest is written belt bag. So these are two very similar shaped bags. This one is meant to be a belt bag. This one's meant to be a crossbody. Some similarities, guys, they do have a pocket at the front here. This one's a drop-in pocket. This one's a separate zippered pocket. At the back, they both have drop-in pockets as well. Um, looking at kind of the difference here in size, guys, the sling crossbody bag is definitely noticeably smaller. There's an extra couple inches here on the rest is written belt bag. And then in terms of thickness, there's also a difference here. So this bag is also like a lot wider. This is a two liter bag. This one is a three liter bag. This one is $48 and this one is $58. So for an extra $10 here, you are getting a lot of storage and you are getting kind of a bit more functionality because you could wear this as a crossbody or as a belt bag where this one you could only really wear as a crossbody bag. Another thing guys is that this one is definitely larger. When I put it on, it kind of covers my entire waist. Wearing it this way, it does cover a majority of my body. Whereas this one, when I put it on, it doesn't take up as much real estate on your body. It definitely covers less of my waist here. So whether you want to spend the extra $10 or not is up to you. But if you guys do want some more information on the rest is written belt bag, I have done a full review on this bag and you can find that in the top right or in the description below. So for the price point guys, I think we are really getting a good amount of storage here and we're getting like a nice bag. Um, I like this bag. It's something that looks like very low key. It's not super flashy or anything. It's really simple looking and it's also lightweight, which is awesome. I don't have to worry about it kind of pulling me over. I typically don't wear that many crossbodies because they're heavy and they kind of like, you know, pull you down down, but I don't really have to worry about that with this bag because it is nice and lightweight. All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the capacity, and the functionality of this bag, I would go ahead and give this a 7.7 .7 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in getting the Lululemon Sling Crossbody Bag, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.